Time for a bit of a walk around, gives an idea of what the car's all about. So start off up the front, had a lot of questions about the engine and engine mods. It is basically stock. It's just got a set of plus 30 injectors, a custom high flow turbo from Procharge, and just a front mount cooler, 100 mil core, Pro Flow, absolutely nothing special. I'm running about 32, 34 pound of boost on a good day. So it's just temporary setup until the auto goes in. Then we'll do a bit more of a tune, take it to JP Performance, see what they can squeeze out of it without the clutch slipping. Uh, come down the front, all the lighting is all rigid. So I'm running some rigid scene lights in for the foggies for crawling, rigid spotlight in the middle and some 220s up on the roof there, a bit more spread. Come around, winch is a red winch Cobra, which is a high mount standard drum. Uh, it's in overdrive at the moment, yet to use it, but pretty excited once she goes to 24 volt, should be pretty good. Up under the front, so the SAS, it is a GU diff that's been flipped, running basically all patrol stuff, so drag link, tie rod, radius arms are custom with uh, 80 series bushes, running King 10 inch coilovers, King steering dampener, and King 2 inch compact uh, hydro bump stops. Wheels, dirty life messes, and a neg 38, 17 inch, 35 inch, 12 and a half, 17 razors. Had a few sets of them now, pretty good. Haven't had too many issues with them, so can't really complain. Meredith Snorkel, this one is a low, I don't know what you call it, small one. I didn't want the standard one that comes right over the top of the roof, so got them to do me a long entry with a little custom cap. So pretty cool little setup from Meredith there. Side lights, rigid, way too bright for camp lights, but eventually I'll run something with a dimmer so I can dim them down and actually utilize them. Uh, rock sliders from SCF, they've been pretty good. Bent them once, but Matt, giving them a pretty hard time. They've been pretty good, really. Uh, water tank, got a 120 litre stainless water tank in there, custom to fit in the headboard. So basically built the tray with that in mind. So it's, um, yeah, still a bit of a temporary setup. You can see the fittings and the hoses aren't really the best at the minute, but it's got me through. It's been to Cape and back, hasn't really let me down. So we'll, we'll sort that out one day. Run two 35 inch spares. They're just strapped in there. Again, nothing special, just hopefully don't have to use them. Uh, I'll go through the canopy. So this side is basically got the travel buddy, got a, just a spot up there for a clear top bag, Anderson's, USBs, uh, just keep everything charged. Top drawer we use for all of our uh, dry food, basically, anything that can, doesn't have to be in the fridge. Bottom drawers or cooking equipment. And then all around the sides, we just basically got every spare puncher repair kit, all the bits and pieces. So we'll go through that in another video, see what we run, what we take on longer trips and out where we're gonna break things. Uh, lighting up the inside is hardcore, the tri-colors. They're again, pretty good. The amber's awesome up on the river and stuff. Don't get any issues with bugs. Come around the back, it's got a gas bottle holder, a little custom uh, rubbish bag that was made for us by Drifter. That's pretty, been a pretty cool thing. Fit a good week's worth of rubbish in there if you crush your cans. Just a basic ladder to get up to the rooftop. TC jerry can holder. Under the back, instead of going for a trundle drawer, just got a trundle box, basically. So I got, again, drifted to make us some bags to go in there. Just basically throw the hammer, hose, few bits and pieces, recovery gear stays in there. It's not sealed, so whatever, it can get wet, really. The custom-made tow bar recovery point and keep going with the canopy for now so this side all the 12 volt so again more usbs uh, i've got the road vision switch panel there so one in the canopy one in the car and so they're dual switching so pretty handy nice and neat with all the wiring a 40 amp dc dc from red arc a 1800 watt projector inverter Sound bar from Boss Audio, again, pretty good. Just, you know, does the job, bit of background music, not gonna have a bush doof out of it, but it does the job for what we need it for. It's got 126 amp hour lithium in there at the moment. That's one of the projects coming up is gonna be to redo a lot of that stuff. And then just at the back here, just keep 
table, chairs, fire pit, uh, a few little bits and pieces. The slide is a XTM, so just from BCF, I think it was. Just a little, few little mounting points in there for the Weber, stop it sliding around when we're off road. And then, yeah, basically pulls out into a kitchen. So pretty handy, nice and quick set up and pack up. Some more hardcore lights over this side, or canopies all central locking. Again, more rigid lighting, Another the other spare. Uh, yeah, pretty, it's pretty basic there. And 23-0, just standard two and a half meter awning and a side opening uh, rooftop tent from Outback Outfitters. That's been pretty good. Had no issues with wind, rain, anything like that so far. So probably hang on to that for a while. Interior is basically stock. So really just running the handheld for a bit of spotting around the tracks, UHF. Um, then yeah, just fridge in the back false floor nothing really special in there black duck seat covers but other than that keep it pretty stock in here i'm not a massive fan of too much going on and show you the back so back seat i'll store in a fridge and a few bits and pieces in here at the minute but basically run a 75 liter from dometic fridge freezer and then back in here i've got the fire extinguisher got an air reel and tjm compressor a few little things so might go into depth a bit more about that. But yeah, besides that, it's a pretty good rundown of the car. Getting to the rear end, so the rear end was a bit of a ordeal in itself, just trying to get all of the geometry and all the bits and pieces sorted. So brief description will basically be a D-Max diff that's been braced and has some extra bracketry and whatnot welded to it running a DFI sway bar, that's a torsion sway bar, so that's been pretty good. The car's basically undrivable without it. I've uh, got King 12-inch coilovers in the rear and the King 2-inch two, two hydros. Again, they have been awesome. Straight valving out of the box, haven't had to touch them, so can't complain there. Uh, Panard is out of a GU and all the arms, mounts, everything is all custom, so I had to draw that up basically work out all the geometry, get everything so that it would actually ride nice and do what we want it to do. And it has operated flawless so far. Just, yeah, straight out of the box, just drove it and it has been great. The arms are super long, so they mount right up basically almost where the back of the front door is and up nice and flush with the chassis. So when crawling on rocks and stuff, they've been pretty good in that sense. Not really getting caught up on much. They mount on the front of the diff, so nothing hanging below, which is handy. A um, couple of other questions I've been getting is what exhaust do I run? Exhaust is basically standard. It's only just chopped back just behind the front door just to allow for all the business going on in the back there. Sort of didn't know where everything was going to sit, so just done something temporary until all the rear end was done and that's another project we'll be getting into that and putting something that sounds a bit better on it but being a dpf car it's not ever really going to sound great so see how it goes but yeah we'll do something there and yeah besides that that's um a pretty brief rundown we'll get into some more detail as people ask some questions and want to know more about it so yeah let us know what you think